Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me again. I'm in Yarna Wood on Dartmoor this morning. And I'm here to firstly see if I can get any uh, woodland shots with some mist in the woods, but also lots of bird life here. It's about seven o'clock in the morning and the woodpeckers are drumming to each other. So let's see what we can find, shall we? Well, although it's still only March, it's very uh, warm still and very wet and uh, no hat this morning. It's just too warm for a walk around the forest. Well, that was a nice little encounter with a woodpecker. They've left some uh, dead standing trees here and clearly this woodpecker's got a favourite uh, tree that he's hammering away on. It's a bit uh, monochrome this morning, misty and uh, Unfortunately, he's going to be a shadow, if you like, a silhouette against the background. There he goes again. But I think I've got some half decent film. Photographs won't be up to much, I don't think, though. Wow. Let's see what else we can find. Well, before we do, let's at least look at one of the photographs. But as expected, it was much of a silhouette and I've had to push the shadows up and a little bit of saturation, give it a little bit of colour while I was processing the image. But not too bad, all the way out at 350 mil, five hundredths of a second and an ISO of 1600 and it still looks quite sharp. So I've not been to this wood before, but uh, and I'm not sure where I'm walking to either, but uh, there's plenty to see and plenty of colour if you know what to look for. Let me show you what I mean. So initially it might look a bit bland, 
but there's still some lovely rusty colours in the leaves and the rotting bracken on the floor there. And some of these trees give some nice structure. And of course, some silver birch always helps. Some nice compositions here somewhere. And you never know, there might be a little bit of light that comes shining in through the woodland. As you can see, it's quite misty beyond. Just walking along the path here with the telephoto lens on. There's a nice sort of square image there of that tree and the path leading away. So I'm going to try that. I'm hoping for a little bit more mist to come in. I'm not going to do anything clever. I'm just going to put my camera on auto ISO. Take the shutter speed down. Maybe two hundredth of a second. I'm at F10, that'll do. Let's just see what it looks like to start with. Don't think it's a great shot, but something to get started with. Yes, and I was probably right. Not the greatest of shots, but I was desperate to get some woodland photography. What I liked about this was the colour of the leaves that were still hanging on for grim death onto this tree and the leading line of the path. So I took this image to start with, but wasn't quite sure about the uh, path and that puddle down in the bottom left. So cropping it in slightly, I think this is a little bit better. It's the same photograph. All I've done is pulled the edges in a little bit, got rid of the puddle at the bottom. A little bit of sky's gone as well. The tree's very central. And I think this just makes a better image. And I still quite like the cool colours in this. Well, I'm looking across quite a steep valley here. And you can just make out on the other side there, maybe along there, some mist behind the trees. Just going to take a shot of that, see if that uh, comes to anything. I'll put the camera back in manual now, and uh, at a hundredth of a second, so I can hand hold it. Um, got quite a shallow depth of field, only at f 5.6 at the moment. And I'm playing around with the ISO just so it looks good. It's exposed correctly. Right, before that mist disappears, let's uh, take a shot. So with this image, I've really cropped it in quite a bit. The original photograph was at uh, 70 millimeters, which showed a lot more of the landscape, but really wasn't happy with that. So. When I got the photograph home, when I processed it, I uh, cropped it in quite a lot, trying to get this layered effect with the trees in the foreground and the mist and then the hillside beyond. Well, sorry for the rush, sorry for the rush, but look at the light over there. Wow. That's better.
just have a move a bit, excuse me. I'm sure you can see the light on those fields and the trees. That mist rising up behind. Shame there's a dark tree in the foreground, but I don't think I've got any options, so I'll just fire away, see what I can get. Well, this is one of those moments where the scene in front of you looks great. And of course I was desperate to capture some good images of it. But I'm not sure that I've managed it that well. I do quite like these two silhouetted trees against the mist, but it's lost some of that impact and colour. And uh, the video looked a lot better and maybe I should have tried a little bit more of that. This shot I like a little more, this nice letterbox shot of the whole scene. That dark tree in the foreground I've tried to uh, actually brighten that up a little bit so it's not so intrusive in the shot. The colour on the fields has been captured well and I think I've got the best of the mist behind the tree so not too bad. Well, that was a nice surprise. The sun's really coming up in the sky now and I started to burn off the moisture on the fields and that's what's creating all that cloud. Really nice. Okay, back into the woods now and uh, let's uh, see what else there is. The other thing they have here at the uh, woodland is some nice comfortable hides and they've set this one up by the stream here with some bird feeders and there's plenty of places for the birds to perch before coming to the feeder so uh, hopefully get some more natural shots. There was a juggling act whether to uh, actually take video or take photographs. I'm hoping to try a little bit of both so you can get a good feel of what this place is like. Okay, back to the uh, photographs. Well, if you've ever tried to photograph small birds, you know that they uh, move very fast. <laughs> so uh, the technique here was to try and find a perch that they uh, would land on before going to the feeders and I managed that at least once with this um, long tail tip but it was very early in the morning still and quite dark so this shot is a little grainy. I did have better luck with this nut hatch but this bird was just flying in and out from a perch too far away to see. So I could only capture images as the uh, bird was on the feeder. But um, this is a sort of classic pose that the nut hatch makes and the feeder's not too bad with, with that very metallic uh, sort of um, structure. And this is probably my favourite. You can see the whole bird and uh, I've just cropped it so it's looking away into some negative space. Settings wise, thousands of a second because they are moving fast, which meant the ISO was very high, but it's still quite a nice sharp image. Well, I could stay here quite a long time. Just the anticipation of uh, what birds might come along. Just seen a long tail ticked and uh, 
a nut hatch. Unfortunately, the nut hatch, I could only uh, photograph it on one of the bird feeders, so not a very natural looking uh, shot, but uh, that's the closest I've uh, come to one so far. So couldn't resist taking a few images. Okay, lovely, there it is. I'm sure there's more to see, so uh, let's move on, shall we? Well, I came across another hide further up the hill and as you can see there was a little bit more sunlight which meant some better images. ISO was still high at 5000 and I was at a very fast shutter speed of one thousandth of a second but the images are a little better. Took a few images of this uh, blue tip that kept returning to this perch and uh, the 350mm lens were was just perfect and then this uh, coal tit was doing a similar thing going to the feeders and then going back to these perches and just with a little patience as you can see I've got several images of the same bird as he uh, went backwards and forwards A little dark maybe, but I quite like these uh, nice colours. Well, yet another hide. Just walked up this uh, track up the hill a little bit and come to this woodland uh, hide overlooking some more feeders and some more trees. So taking a few more shots from there, some blue tits and uh, I think willow tits maybe. Anyway, let's move on up the hill. The sun is uh, well and truly up now so I think my thoughts of any good uh, woodland photography are out but uh, this has been a real surprise. Lovely woodland. Absolutely full of birds this time in the morning. Somewhere between 8 and 9 o'clock now. I've seen no one else just yet. But there's so many birds here. If you're a bird watcher and you don't know about this place then uh, Put it on your uh, bucket list. And I'm really surprised this time of year how nice it is. Well, I've continued to climb and uh, just come past the woodland centre. They was just setting up for the day for a talk on uh, woodland management, I think. And uh, 
kind chap suggested that I'll go on this path which is just gone past a, an old copper mine and now I'm walking along quite a, a good path high up in the woodland which apparently leads round to some more gnarly older trees so let's see So this is turning into quite a long walk, but still very interesting. Not exactly sure where I am right now, but uh, I think I'm heading back towards the car. Um, difficult to take any decent photographs because of the sun now, but uh, I've found some nice trees. Let me show you. Well, I quite like all these uh, really dark trees. And um, there's a few just here, especially this one with the moss around the base. Just seems to uh, sort of twist as it goes up and uh, if you get the uh, right angle on it got some other ones behind look some separation between them maybe as well maybe that's going to make a photograph well I wasn't expecting much from this scene but uh, in the end these images I quite like this first one is more straight on so it's hiding the other trees behind but uh, the colors are nice I do like that moss around the base of the tree. I have darkened the area down at the bottom left slightly. It leads you to sort of concentrate on the tree itself. And this one, as you can see, I've moved a little bit to the left so you can see some of the other trees. Again, I've darkened certainly the foreground put a little bit of a vignette on it to uh, lead your eye into the centre really like the shapes of the trees here and again like the bird shots some nice uh, brown and green colours in this As you can see, walking along the paths, I couldn't resist the leading lines. So I took a couple of shots. And I've used a bit of artistic license with these. I've uh, pushed the clarity of them all the way down so that they look very soft. And I've pushed the colours up using saturation. And it gives it that almost painting-like feel painterly if you like and this one also light was starting to shine in and across the path again I've made it very soft by pushing the uh, clarity down giving it a little bit more oomph if you like with the uh, saturation to make it more colorful and it's a simple image but uh, just looks very nice Well, I think I'm going to call it a day. It's been quite a long walk around this wood. Lots of different paths, so if you're coming here, um, give yourself plenty of time. And if you're a bird watcher, definitely uh, make sure you bring some decent equipment and uh, be prepared to spend a lot of time here. I can see birds around me all everywhere. It's great. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. And I'll see you somewhere again next week. But for now, cheerio.